little diagram to have a piece of metal and then you <laughs> Oh, really? I thought that's what it I was. saw that from the last This is why we need the head ref here. That that could have been problematic. He notices all the small things. The all-seeing ref. 1437. V1437. Okay. Red Alliance, are you ready? Blue Alliance, are you ready? Autonomous in three, two, one, go. They're fighting over it. Who will take it? Does it All break right. the plane? How's it going to go? We can't tell. 999. 1437 versus 1437. Who's going to pull it out? Will it matter if 999 gets over 8 or over 7? 999 with another maximum yield on their purple Pringle count. It didn't break the plane, and they have the purple Pringles, so red is most likely going to take it. Is it over seven? That's a lot of purple Pringles. If there are over seven stacked on the pole. That's 22. We will hear from head ref Tommy. Not head ref Tommy. <laughs> Red takes autonomous. Driver control in three, two, one, go. All right, I'm curious to see here. All right, there it is. 99-99 going immediately and placing their... Uh, placing the red goal all the way on top of the platform. This is really going to deter the blue team from trying anything in terms of getting things off of their platform. That it, platform now is just the target. It looks like there's a little bit of a fight going on in the middle here between 1437. They picked up the red one. That's really big for them. If they can stock it on theirs. Ooh. Interesting that. play. Yeah, That's a very it. interesting tactic. What they're doing is they're trying to deny the they're trying to deny the red team the ability to even get oh, it. They're going in circles over here. 1437Z and 1437X are going at each other. They're trying to steal it. What's going to happen? These two robots were made to fight each other. Let's just see how this goes. Their stock might get knocked over if he gets too close to the red platform. Oh. It's fallen. All right, here we go. We'll how is this going to end, David? I'm not sure. It's really close. The Blue right, Alliance doesn't have anything stacked on their platform besides the red. I oh. was going to say, but the Blue Alliance was able to pull that neutral color away from the red team. We'll see if it'll make the difference. There's only 38 seconds left. All right. if they, he, I'm wondering if that's pinning. All right. And here we go. Oh. There might be a disqualification call. I'm wondering, I'm wondering what I'm seeing here because I think this is definitely going to need a ref discussion moment. Definitely. If 999 can pull this out. Oh, they pulled both of them out. This could Ooh, be huge. Look at that. 999. If they All can right, keep well, blue, the blue. Blue is actually able to get one. This is going to be very close. This is definitely going to be down to the wire here. The refs need to converge, though. I don't think it'll matter. I think red took the dub anyways. You know, I'm... That's 40 points stacked there, 40 points stacked there. They also have this, though. That is true. They do have the one neutral. This is an extra 20, plus all of their purple Pringles. I think red is going to have to take this one. Yeah, but I'm wondering how the refs are going to approach the conflict that happened in this back left corner. It's very interesting. I think it was on the blue team, but we'll see if they give a disqualification to the red team as we'll, well. We'll have to await their decision. We will see. The refs are counting up. It's very fascinating to see who will win. Sadly, placing the red one on the platform does not help them in any way, besides not letting the other team get the red, the red goal. We're having a discussion here between the Blue Alliance and the head ref about the pinning rule. And basically how it works is you cannot pin a robot for longer than five seconds. You have to back up at least a tile. Right. So just to make it clear, there, there is no pinning. All right? Um, there w I was calling the pinning because the robot appeared to be trying to escape. Its wheels were spinning in the direction of escape. But uh, the other robot, the... Four, um, uh, you know, 1437, they weren't trying to stop them, and when they did move, the other robot didn't move. They were stuck. So it wasn't the pin that held them in place. 
Um, so I'm not calling a pin, all right? Because you have to try and escape. There you go from our head ref. There's the final decision. We will see what the score comes out to be. I was going to say, now we just have to wait and see who's going to take this first match in our best of three. It's very interesting. Whoever loses, I wonder if they're going to switch up their strategy, if they're going to continue to try to do the same thing. Stealing that red goal is a very interesting tactic. I was going to say, that's definitely an interesting way to start off the match, because think about what would happen if they miraculously were able to take the 99-999. The Okay. They were able to take the 99-999 immediate stack and bring that over to their side. What would that do to the red team? Well, I don't think the sta moving the stack would help, but I think the goal is to avoid letting them stack on their red base by putting it on their platform. Because now if they want to go stack more, they're going to have to go over there and steal it from them. I guess we'll just have to see what they do in game two. And we haven't seen anybody here today stack any of the purple on the neutrals. I wonder if we'll see that in the future. Maybe Worlds. And our scores are out. It is 131 to 80. The first seeded alliance taking the first game. It's a close one. It's only by 50 points. That's I was the difference say, of one. We can see, like, this is definitely not too separated. Like, the blue team does have a chance to improve from our last match here and find some way to close this out. If the blue team were able to keep the neutral um, goal and the blue goal in this corner until the end, they would have won the game. That definitely could have changed a lot of things. We'll it would have, have, to see how it would have given them 60 goes. points and the red team would have lost 20. So they're taking this one apart? Yeah. All right. So now we just have to wait for the field to reset, let them change their batteries, motors cool down. We'll see how this goes. Looks like... Looks like not much is going on right now. Just kind of waiting. 